on, buddy. This is John. I want to welcome you to Factory Town. I think you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't forget to mind you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when things happen. And things are happening. And we're here. And we're doing things. And things have happened. I let the simulation run for an extended amount of time without really doing anything different. So I could get a, a, a nominal amount of gold coins. And we finished up the mining... Um, the mining research, and I think the only other thing I did was like kind of add in a couple things to get more red coins coming in. It looked like our red coin usage to production was off. Uh, we were burning through them, so I tried to mix it up some and put overflow coming from the conveyors to to, uh, to make the conveyors for the overflow that's backing up on it to come in here to help push out more shirts, which in turn got us more stuff. And we finished all of our stone production. Oh my god, there's one baddie right there. Oh my god, go away. No, wrong but Not the big baddie. Not somebody anymore. I'm going to say peace out to them. They can go take a break in their houses for a minute. Because they're, they're done. They're done. And you're done. Stop it off. There you go. And um, we need to be able to get into mining now. So the thing about mining is for the mines, which we unlocked. Let me show you the, the, the buildings here. Down to here. It takes reinforced planks and rail tiles, rail tiles to make this. So, yeah, that's that's a little bit out. So first things first, we probably need to get some more stone production going on because the we don't have any stone production anymore because we just cleaned it all out. So what I'll probably do is, uh, oh, I stopped the apple people from picking more apples because we have 476 of them. So I disposed of them kindly, not rude, kindly. I told them thank you and sent them on their way. And uh, we, I think we need to go ahead and start working that in. Oh, and I did change. I added a little bit more cotton around the cotton and changed these to shoots. So they'd be pushing them out a little bit faster. So you can see here how it's going out now. This one, I think it's still backed up. Yeah, it's backed up. It's kind of weird, but hey, it is what it is. If you're here backed up. That one's backed up there. This one's pushing out nicely. This has five workers and this has four. And you can see the difference between the two of the backing up of and not backing up of. But when then this one's got four workers on it just to kick the shirts out so we can make sure that, uh, again, we're getting the red coins coming in. So um, anything else? Oh, I moved one of the kitchens over just to see if I could slam out more stuff up the workers in there. We're really pushing hard on worker usage right now, too. And uh, the next upgrade takes reinforced planks for the houses, too. So to get any sort of forward stuff, we need to get reinforced with planks. And we need to keep stone production going. So those are the, the, the major things right now. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And it's nice that the stone is finally gone after X amount of episodes. And uh, to be able to actually get into maybe cleaning up the area and designing things better for the houses. Also, since we know there's a little uh, an up and down AOE for the places that sell to these houses, that we need to make sure that we don't build too tall. And when we get more houses available, which we are closing in on max, I believe, I believe we got to keep that around. And that one's not producing anything else. That means we won't be producing any more conveyors. So we got to worry about that. Um, you have some conveyors in you. You do not have many because we have used up all that. So this is this is going to take a major rework in some of the areas for me to be happy too. The cool thing is that um, we do have a good amount of gold coins. So I can probably re rework some of this, uh, get some rid of some of the trees since we're using that for the forestry stuff for our tree production right now. Um, and also we have money too to buy more land if we wanted. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what they look like, you know? Like, I don't know, do you guys want to see? Well, I guess we can see what one looks like. What's that? Is that like a, a desert biome or something? Oh, this looks weird. What is this one? Are we gonna buy it? We got 1K, we'll, we'll buy one. Oh, ooh, ooh, what is this? A water temple. Oh, neat. Any new resources? What's that? Firestone. We have mana shards. There's more coal. That's herbs. There's stone. There's iron ore. There's more coal. Okay. Neat. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, here we go. Input. Water ether. Output is mana crystal. Solid crystal charged with magical powers. Hmm. Interesting. And it looks like it has a, a, a locked-in speed. When the happiness is up, it, it does faster. Okay, like most of the other ones. And you're gold, right? Yeah, you're gold ore. I wonder if there's more gold in there. I don't want to drop any more cash because we want to do some work with the area we've already got. That's really cool. And it looks like, yeah, it opened up further. We have it on infinite. So we could actually go out further and further if we wanted to. Interesting. 
Um, so anyway, let's see here. Uh, I think what I want to do is clean up the spot over here and start working in stone because we have a huge amount of stone hanging out here. So I think if we could get a couple stone, we, we were getting kind of, we were slowing up on our conveyors because of the stone. So um, maybe we'll do that and rework some of the the, the, the apothecaries and the, the food markets and stuff. And maybe work the swords clear, clean and clear. Um, we could possibly, yeah, we're going to get, let me get into this. Let me get into some diving in here so we can set up and then we can do some on camera stuff to get the re reinforced planks going. So you guys hold on. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. And I did a, it's something simple here. I did a double barn. Um, so it has a little bit of overflowed. So whenever the stone, you know, we can keep a good amount of stone if it, the production slows up or not. I have conveyors going all the way over here. And this is the old uh, stone brick barn. So as soon as this thing empties out, then this whole flow will go. So we're getting a little bit of a backlog over here. I do have barns up here in front uh, after the workshop of the stonemasons, just so um, whenever it starts going again, I don't just have 10 waiting. I'll have 200 or well, 400 waiting plus the extra 10 there says 420 of them waiting to go out the hole into the door out the door into the player or whatever all that good stuff so that's good to go um we are getting actually i can go ahead and start moving some things because we're getting low on actual uh cotton production and cloth production i do need to keep up the red coins so we can keep the forestries going so it's a bit of a debacle going on right now because we're hitting our headroom then to get our headroom up we will need to get reinforced planks because also for our base upgrade, we need a hundred of the reinforced planks too. So uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I believe the reinforced planks take three uh, things. They take planks, I believe it's nails and um, iron plates or metal plates. So we can check and see though. Uh, that's the four. Just go to lumber mill one, 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 one workshop. Select recipes. Uh, reinforced plank. I am correct. It takes planks, two iron plates, and four nails in ten seconds to knock out one. So I'm going to start leeching off of this line and just so I can get stuff going. We have a backup of uh, lovely woods, so that's not too bad. Um, I could use, I wish I could split the shoots too, but that that make them way OP. So um, we're going to go ahead and do this backwards to get to make sure we have enough room for everything. So first off, I'm going to start off with this for my front row for the last barn. Then we're going to get, uh, is that a lumber mill? It is a lumber mill. So let's go to you. The workshop is... Right there we'll put a workshop here and that's honestly what all we need to get things going for the planks because now we just need to make sure we pull off stuff now these metal uh the metal bars are or iron bars are only just giving us one blue coin a piece and as you can see we got a lot of blue coins coming in because of the oil the fish oil production so we're good on that um i'm just going to go ahead and We'll just do a little split off of this and make it run back to you. And then we can run the, let's run the nails first since it's right here. So doing the nails right, right like this. And then you will be running out of that into the barn. So that's the nails taken care of. Now let's grab this and let's pull these guys over to this area. And I really like how he's gotten it to where these, um, the scaffolding like will bounce onto the next one. No problem. All right, so now we have the iron bars going fine, fine. And then here we need, to, I'm probably just gonna do a splitter. I think I got it as a pusher now, but I'm gonna just do a splitter. We're getting enough wood coming in this side. So I'm gonna get rid of these fellas first like that. And then we're going to rotate you. And I'm just gonna steal some of the stuff because we, we need it, we need it. We don't, it's not, this is no, there's no wagon wheel here. This is the serious business stuff. So now, uh, other than the pusher, which is gonna push it in there, which I need to get rid of you now. We should be getting logs, and actually, I should just use shoots. We'll use shoots for this. Oh, we know we need planks. We need freaking planks, man. What are you doing? It needs to come out on the other end of the lumber mill, which this is our plank area. This is even better because I just go like this then. Done. So there's our planks. And this will give us planks, nails, and metal. And we'll start getting re- Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we ain't. we're not taking any coal, you- uh, 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 Reinforced planks. Yes, that's it. And that's what should be coming out of you into here. As soon as you're producing it, you are. We have a couple workers. I think we will help out a little bit by doing that. Nice. And now we have reinforced planks entering uh, the arena now. So that's super good. 
cool. And um, this is on a double loop, so like every third one makes it out. Actually, it's like every quarter almost sometimes because of how these conveyors work with slow and they get back up and they stop, so it pushes them out. So that that's okay. I like how it regulates the output of it. And we always have a good supply of, well, iron plates waiting for us. So yeah, iron plates, iron plates. I'll remember that word. Okay, so all that's going in. It's coming out. We have a full load of planks. What I'm going to do is change this up so we can continue to have nice amount of wheels outputting to like this. And then we'll go to B, logistics tools. We'll do a pusher and we'll push it this way. So if there's room here for it to go over, it'll go over. If not, it'll push into our workshop down the southern part. And then that way we can keep our wheels producing out in a nice fashion. And again, the thing that's holding us up here now will be the cloth but I need to keep the red going, red coins going, so we can stay ahead of the foresters that cost money to do stuff because they're expensive. And I'm re researching machinery now, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, there's a machinery. It doesn't really tell us to, but there we go. Machine shop packager, metal conveyor belt, metal conveyor belt. So this will actually let us go to the next tier of conveyor belts, which will be nice. Which I'm excited for that because uh, it would be good to get some more speed into this. And we have we have reinforced planks coming in. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and push through and wait for 100 of them and some more so we can upgrade our base and all the houses and build more houses. So let me let the simulation run and we will return in a minute. Welcome back. And I just unlocked the machinery. A lovely little thing. Uh, research on here. And it should have given us a couple things. We got a machine shop now, which is, assembles a variety of mechanical gadgets. And I believe that is what we need for um, different things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to say that. It was funny to me. And so I don't think we could do railings here. We have to use the actual the machine shop to make the rails to do the mining, which is something I really want to get. But we do have 135 lovely reinforced plank so we're going to go ahead and upgrade the base bam house max increased by five and to do the next upgrade we need mana crystals and more reinforced planks but we can do more houses we can do five more and i think i'm going to add just another stack because uh, again we have a certain amount of height we're allowed to work with and i need to end up changing how things happen because again our, our range of of, a, of a influence here it, as you can see where it just shaves off the top of things so we would be we barely have enough room with a lot of the stuff that we've got placed right now so like the general um store needs a change and other things so i'm gonna go ahead and just get the houses up first we're gonna go ahead and choose this side and just have it match the other thing and i'm gonna build up for it up for it which is good because we have those right there so that'll make it pretty easy if i know how to click buttons i'll be good to go right one two f1 four bam and then to f3 five one two f1 four bam um f3 five one two f1 four again and bam uh see how that's looking nice nice and pretty and look you can see where it's shaving off the room we had uh, what was going on there so we had to be pretty we have to move some more things around we got to move more things around to accommodate our new housing peoples in the door but at least we're getting more Move, we got more peoples in here. Our happiness did go down, so that means some slow produce. The, the, there's going to be some production slowing down, too. Um, uh, Apothecary is covering things, but the food market isn't. So I'm going to... Uh, what are we bringing? I thought I... Oh, we have more space now for coal. Yay! That's great. I'm going to remove this road. Peace out, road. And we're going to delete you. And we're going to move the markets up here now. Hopefully, I got enough stuff for it. I do. Okay, good, good, good. So, let's move the market up so it's, like, all up on this thing. Uh, that feels okay. I'm going to bring it over, like, maybe one more. And then we got to get everybody restarted. Is it? Yeah, we're all confused now, aren't we? No, we're not. We know what to do. Good, good, good. They know what to do. That's good. So, I'm going to add more stone roads up to here. Get them happy. Ish. Not there. There we go. So the milk peoples should be okay. Wait, the milk peoples are not okay. So let's do this again and have you bring it to... Uh, let's grab the milk. Bring it to here. Where are you going? You're doing the right thing, right? Yeah, you look like you are. Those ones are taken care of. Let's grab the milk from here. I hope I did the right thing. 
And there we go. There we go. Okay, good. We're good to go. We're good to go. Wait, wait. Okay, those guys are confused now, I think. So let's go ahead and grab the milk. There you go. And yep, we're good to go. So now the milk's taken care of. I also took one of the fertilizer wagons and moved it here and just wanted to see how it did with the help with the cotton production. And it seems to be doing okay. It seems to be doing okay. So we'll, yeah, the input is now overloading the cloth output, which I was having that a problem where it wouldn't. This is backed up because this is so slow compared to this one. So uh, we, we, we got some more people, but I got to be smart where we put our peoples at. Also, we need to upgrade our places. So let's see if we can upgrade a couple of these and get some more people working for us. We get two per pop. Let's just do this side to stay consistent. I think I can probably do one or two more. And you. And you. And, well, you. And how about you? No. All right, so there we go. We also need to upgrade these guys. So that'll help us out again with, with the amount of people we have working for us. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And the next one's stone. So we'll get those ones upgraded too. We have the money. There we go. Now we're at 208 people. Now we're locked on the cloth, which sucks. Um, because I'm not holding on any cloth because I'm pushing it out to keep our red coin out. But to be at a good point to do it like that. Uh, let's see if I can put another worker in here. And get that production up a little bit faster. And hopefully we can push this out. And we are probably full on our conveyors right now. Yeah, we are. I should start pushing these out again. I've rotated to where we weren't. Let's go ahead and do that. See how this affects my overall throughput. And we'll get some more cash coming in too. And it's going to slow up the shirts, which I do not want that. So I need to run a separate line for the shirts now. I don't mind. I don't mind. And then rotate you in. So the shirts have their own line to come in continuously. I may want to do the same thing I did with the other guy. So we're not pushing out that many conveyor belts. Let me throw another splitter here. We'll do it like this. And that's not going to work with the overflow the way I want it. But we are full anyway, so it doesn't really matter right now. We'll see what happens when it fills up. I probably need to add another line here. Or actually move the line over or something. And then put... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I need to do. Well, we'll, we'll do that now just so it's, it's taken care of. We'll go like this. This. This guy goes there. Right? And then this guy here will copy you, rotate you like this, and then we'll get rid of this one. And this way we can take care of this. And we have the flow kind of like we have up top. They kind of slow things up on our outputs. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. And the cloth is getting used up again. And that means I don't have any, which means I need to stop some so I can do some quick upgrades. We only need 25 of those. And how are we doing on the planks? Planks doing pretty good. And we need to look and see what's going to cost for a machine shop now. Machine shop. It takes reinforced planks, stone brick, and yellow coins. And one population to make it, which is great. We need to get that. We need to get that. We need to get a mine going. To, it's like ASAP so I can control, like, kind of pretty much make con actual consistent spots. Like, these forestry ones are okay, but I feel like once we get more map unlocked, we need to make a really good dedicated forestry area. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Let's actually choose another research. Uh, mana purification sounds great to me. Why not do that? Let's do mana purification. What do you give? Magic Forge, Void Oblisk, <laughs> Health Potions, and Mana Transmissions. So there we go. We also have Steam Unlocked, too. Uh, where are you at? Steam Generator. Uses water and fuel to produce power that can be routed with steam pipes, granting a performance bonus to connected buildings. Huh. But I believe we have to make pipes to be able to really utilize that, too. So there's a lot of new things we have to toy around with um, with our builds. Maybe I'll help out with production and with population cap by increasing the amount of output without having to use more population. Isn't that great? I love that. Um, I'm going to make a bad decision here and do this. And let this build up a little bit. I do need to get that cloth going. 
so we can upgrade more and I don't feel like doing another cotton thing because what I'd like to do is eventually have all our farming kind of near each other so we can take the fertilizer and manage it a little bit better but that's going to take a large flat area so I'm hoping to strip the resources from another area real soon and be good to go um, maybe with all the stone production we can move our mines to somewhere else and then make up this whole area like the true farming area but we need to be able to make the mines first before I can even think about that blah 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 blah, blah. and how are we doing on the cloth now we are doing great let's go ahead and upgrade some more upgrade house upgrade house upgrade house and this is really good and upgrade house upgrade house upgrade house upgrade house Oh, that is super nice. So we now have 228 and we can still do more upgrades over here as we get more reinforced planks. So what I need to do, let me go ahead and let the simulation run some more. I'm going to go ahead and push and get all the peoples maxed out and see how we do um, and maybe try to get a, at least the machine shop down and check that out. So you guys hold on. All right, welcome back. We have a max population of 254. We're holding anywhere between 110 and 115 happiness, depending on how well we're keeping up production, which we're having a little bit of a trouble with that, but I, I've held back on purpose. Again, I, I like to kind of get things unlocked and have the ability to do things and then redo stuff just because I, I feel like instead of like having to constantly, you know, like add on and add on and get all ugly, like we need to get it to where we have the right kind of technology unlocked to promote the best kind of sustainable infrastructure possible. So again, if you there's inconsistencies in, in what I've got, I just have it to where it's enough to maintain to where we can continue moving forward with progress. And eventually we'll get to the point where we're actually building something way more efficient and as, as best as my ability, way more efficient and um, be looking a little bit cleaner too. I mean, it's it's not spaghetti and I like to kind of keep it as best as I can to understand where all the things are instead of like, okay, that was going there, but then it goes into here, then it goes over there, and then back up over here, and then we hit kind of a thing. We're trying not to do that. So that's where we're at. Oh, I hit 116 now. Nice. Um, happiness, and that's an overall boost to all productions too, which is great. It's people's happy, they, they, be, they be buying. I added a little pusher splitter here for this. Got the cloth back to where it's doing both of them again, so we can keep the bread up. Um, I added another boat because we're actually burning through the fish. We were burning through the fish pretty quickly. Now we're back to not burning through it with a third boat added. So I'm down with that. As long as we can keep the fish oil going and keep them happy so we can keep them coins coming in, the blue coins coming in, I'm happy. So anyway, we now can do us a beautiful, um, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Don't hide from me. Don't hide from me. You're hiding from me, aren't you? There's a machine shop. We have the stuff for it. I'm kind of afraid to just plop it down, but let's just plop it down. Machine shop recipe. So it can do gears, iron wheels, steel pipes, and rail tiles, which will take iron plates, stone brick, and planks. That really is not bad. Our metal, we just unlocked mana purification, new building unlock mana forge, process magical items using heat and pressure. Avoid obliesque, new building unlocked, uh, erases any item that is deposited into it. Oh my God. Wow, I could use that for fertilizer right now. <laughs> uh, health potion, concentrated healing drink that directly speeds recovery from wounds and other serious conditions. Uh, sellable potions for eight blue coins, not too bad. And mana transmissions, uh, transmitter, receiver, pipe, and mana power. Interesting. Excellent. That's research, though. That's for research. Uh, let's pause for a second and see what we have left in our blue, whoops, blue researches. We either have enchanted uh, recipes or mana... One's going to cost more. Uh, wow, we need mana crystal for that. So let's do let's do enchanted and en enchanted accessories, which is going to be expensive on the research part. So it'll take it a while to do it. We'll be able to do a gold ingots, magic cloak, magic rope, polished stone, fire ring, water ring, necklaces, and crowns. Which crowns are like top notch gold, but we have like very limited gold on the map, so I probably won't get into making that off the bat. So let's go ahead and set up our rail tiles to be doing stuff and it needs the polished stone i mean the cut stone right stone bricks okay so i'm going to run a splitter to it right off of our existing one and it might not be as efficient for everything else but we really need to get i want to get to where we have mines so let's get you here let's put this like this and then i'm going to put a pusher Ooh, i might do a splitter at the top now let me copy you and i'm going to do this i'm going to put a pusher this way and then we'll move our Conveyor to go like that, and then I'm going to remove you and put a splitter here. 
This way we got at least even going out. I don't really have to have, we might need to not just do this at all here because of how much we're going to be using up for our rail production. Now that that's done, we have metal plates that need to come in here. So let's see. Uh, maybe we can do a split. I'd love to be able to combine them out there, but that's not going to happen. Maybe we can have it go up here. I, I usually try to not go up, but let's go up here. And let's go up again, because I think it has to go up a couple times for it to actually traverse and allow the, the resources to move below it. Is that tall enough? Oh, it's tall enough. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now we need to do a... I'm going to do a splitter for this one. Oops, wrong button. Let's do a splitter. That was G, by the way, that did that, in case you were wanting to see the grid. And now we have these splitting, and there's a pusher. And it is... We're waiting for it to finish pushing the blocks in, and then we can see where we're at with this. Because it'll fill this thing up max. Come on, baby. Wait, 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 what? what? Iron plates, what are these? Are these not iron plates? Oh, it's up too high, then. It's too high for it. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay. All right. And then do this. And put this guy here. Put you here. And then we'll do this like this. That should be good. I would think that should be good. Let's see. All right. We're almost full on that. And I think it'll go underneath it, but we'll find out. And it won't. Okay, so it needs to go up another one. That's kind of lame. All right, we'll do it. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Let's put you here first since you were ready for it. Put you here. Put you here. That should be enough. Oh, it was flush on it. I thought it was... Should that put... Yeah, that's going to push through now. Okay, I thought... I thought it... No, that's my bad then. There we go. And the metal's going in, so all we need to do is run planks in now. And, uh... We're still full on that, so what I'm going to do, since we have this... Let's see if I can introduce it over there without too much... Well, we have floor open, so let's do it for the sake of simplicity. And we can reorganize things later. And go like this. And then now we grab the... We'll grab a splitter. And do this. So now we'll have them going in both directions. And we've got stuff coming in. Machine shop should start popping out the rails. Let's pause it right quick and get a barn up in front of it. Just so I've got that. And put a conveyor in. Here. And then force this to only be rails. So these guys don't start slamming coal in here. Because they like putting coal everywhere, man. Everywhere. Come on now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Do it. 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 Oh, I'm so excited. This is great. Well, this what this will end up doing again. It will allow us to have rails come. And once we have enough rails and uh, reinforced planks are done, we can start finally doing mines. Thank God. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, control points. Oh, it's so nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah that's all in there that's in the hole that's going there that's good that's coming out there we have that coming in here you're still making planks good stuff we have everything upgraded there great we have stuff in here we have moved forward our advancement has begun even further yeah yes <laughs> either way guys hopefully you like it when the series still here let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking but as always thank you so very much and you guys have a good night